Hello, everyone. How are you today? Welcome to St. Mark Bemidji's podcast, the podcast to make your snowblower run itself and send you a text when it's done with the driveway. If you like what you're listening to right now, you can subscribe to it on your phone or your computer and listen to us four times every week. If you're watching our YouTube video podcast, you can also click the little bell and be notified the moment a new podcast is published. You can also share it with a friend. If you look in the podcast description on the app that you're using, in every episode, there's a share link for you to email or text to a friend. I've tried to make it super obvious. Let me know if it isn't at john.kirk at stmarksbemidji.org. There are a number of popular modern lines of thought that are misguided. One of them is that Christmas is a day. It's not. It's a festival, and it goes on for several days. So, even if you're listening to this on your way to work, Merry Christmas. Today, we continue on in our brief look at Luke 2, verse 21. The name of Jesus, and why it's important. There is a reason that he isn't named Frank, beyond the obvious that he wasn't born in Jersey City. In fact, there isn't a single detail of Jesus' life that wasn't significant. I mentioned yesterday that God likes to play the long game, but it's not a game of chance. There is a long line of prophets and recorders of God's word that spell out who Jesus would be when the time had come for him to be born. Every detail, right down to his very name. Well, my snowblower is getting kind of impatient outside, so you take a listen to today's devotion, and I'll be right back. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Luke chapter 2, verse 21 reads, And when eight days had passed, before his circumcision, his name was then called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. This is my text. In the name of Jesus, Amen. In Old Testament Israel, the name a person was given was to be indicative of their person and life. Sometimes, as with Moses, their name was given regarding a unique birth, Moses meaning drawn from the water, or Joshua, which means Savior. However, no Old Testament person ever lived up to their name. Nothing wrong with the name, but their deeds were corrupted and sinful, or they were absent altogether. But the name given Jesus is not from men, but from God. God sent the angel to Joseph with the name Mary's child was to be given, Jesus. The name is the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, both in heaven and on earth and under the earth. This name also indicates that he will save his people from their sins. This is the business of God the Father Jesus is all about in his life and ministry. We know that by this name, Jesus, we will find both word, deed, and fulfillment in every respect what the name Jesus means and implies. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the resurrection and the life. He is the good shepherd. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. His name is Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And He lives up to His name. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we laud and magnify Your glorious name, the name You gave to Your only begotten Son, the name Jesus. Grant that we may ever thank and praise, serve, and obey him for fulfilling his name for us in his death and resurrection, that we might have eternal life in his name, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. That's all there is for today. But we are so happy you took a few moments out of your busy day to listen to God's Word with us. Please consider subscribing to our podcast to hear more devotions like this, Monday through Friday, and to hear our Sunday sermons as well. We also cordially invite you to join us for church every week at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. 
If you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website at www.stmarksbemidji.org.